My name is Ashley Robertson. I'm the curator and director here of the Mary McLeod Bethune Foundation National Historic Landmark. I've been here since June 2013 and I am a proud graduate of Howard University. I also attended Temple University for my master's in African American Studies and for undergrad I went to Bowie State University where I graduated in 2008. So as the curator and director of the Mary McLeod Bethune Foundation National Historic Landmark, and I always like to tell people that it is a National Historic Landmark, it's been a historic landmark for almost 40 years. And there are a little, I think it's about 2,000 sites in the United States that have this special designation of National Historic Landmark. So my duties here include making sure that all of the collections are safe, we have all of the original items of the founder of Bethune-Cookman University, which is Mrs. Bethune. We have all of her personal items, her dresses, her awards. And so it's my job to keep those things safe and to also be accountable for everything that's here. I also conduct tours. We have visitors from around the nation. Last year, our numbers as far as tours were about 7,100 visitors most of which are people who come during the summertime. We host groups of students. Um, we also host people who come from the beach side, family reunions, anybody who wants to come and learn about the life of Mrs. Bethune. So I think that my favorite part of being here, I, I just think that this is just the ultimate dream job. I did my dissertation on Ms. Bethune and I also worked in her house in Washington, D.C. for almost two years. And so when I got the call to come here to Daytona Beach, I literally packed up everything into my car and came from Washington, D.C., which is a place that I love. And I moved here not knowing anyone. And so this has been the ultimate dream job. I think my favorite part of the job is just meeting different people and telling the story of Mrs. Bethune. If you pay attention and listen to her story, how she was able to come from the cotton fields of South Carolina, the daughter of enslaved parents, the first born free, to rise to a person who was able to work with presidents and to travel around the world. It's just great to be able to tell such an inspiring story and to hopefully get other people to be moved by her story. So just meeting folks, coming in contact with people who just wanna hear about her and being able to share the work of my Shiro it's just the best part of the job.